Here's today's question. What is the best tile cutter? I'm really excited because today we're going to be taking a look at Montelite's Master Puma P3. This is an awesome tile cutter. If you want to set tile faster and better with more accurate cuts and you're using ceramic porcelain or even glass mosaic, this could be a great tool for you. So this is the Master Puma P3 that can cut up to 25 inch by 25 inch tiles. If you're curious what that equates to in centimeters, it's 63 by 63 centimeters. The reason we chose this size of tile cutter is because you can cut long tiles. Here's the deal, tiles are getting longer these days. And so having a 25 inch by 25 inch tile cutter allows us to cut 24 inch, 12 by 24 inch tiles. So you don't have to run to the, the wet saw to cut this. Now obviously if you have a tile that's longer than 24 inches, you'd want to opt for the Master Piuma that's a bit bigger. The cool thing about the Master Piuma is it's easy to see the cutting wheel. And that's always important when you need to make accurate cuts. It's very easy to push the handle of the Master Piuma. It slides back and forth very smoothly. So you just want to line up your tile and make your cut. And when you get to the end of the cut, you can keep the handle here and break the tile. So there's no backing up the handle to break the tile, which is nice. You're gonna save a bit of time by keeping the handle at the end of the cut. The nice thing about this handle is the fact that it's self-adjusting. So you don't have to adjust the handle for different thicknesses of tile. The tile can be anywhere from a quarter inch to up to one inch, and you can still use this particular setup. Let's say, for example, you need to make a whole bunch of three inch cuts out of this one tile. You just slide your tile over to the three inch mark. Put this device right here and lock it in place. You can score the tile and just keep cutting one after the other. Another great thing about this tile cutter is you can cut a variety of different tiles all with the same cutting wheel. So again, whether it's ceramic, porcelain, two inch mosaics, or glass tile, you're gonna be set up for success. So what about glass tile? How do you cut that with the Master Piuma? You can get a rubber mat for it, and the rubber mat has a little groove on the back. That groove fits into the slot here on the Master Piuma. So here's the question, why do you want this rubber mat? The rubber mat is great because it keeps your glass mosaics on the Master Piuma. And the other thing is most glass tiles have a white paint on the back of them. That white paint can be chipped if you don't use a rubber mat. And if you chip the white paint, you'll be able to see the thin set through the glass tile and that's never a good thing. So again, it's very simple to cut glass tile with this tile cutter. And as you can see, all these glass tiles were broken perfectly with the Master Piuma. And the other great thing is the white paint on the back was not chipped. So how accurate can this be with a two inch mosaic? So let's say you need to take a little sliver off. As you can see, this is about one quarter inch and that was cut off of the tile mosaic. So I'd like to see how little of a cut you can make with the Master Piuma. This is about one half inch. So there you go, that's about one half inch. Now if you're cutting textured tile, you can use a WD-40 oil pack. It's very easy to use this. You snap off the tip, you slide it down over this pipe cleaner, and that feeds WD-40 onto the cutting wheel. But again, you only have to do this for a very textured tile. Most of the time you're not going to need this. If you need to cut a 45 degree angle, that's really easy with this tile cutter. There's a handle right here. You turn the handle counterclockwise. And as you can see, there's not a detent plate, but it shows you you've got your 15, 30, 45, 60, and 75 markings on here. You can simply just move this until you get to that 45, and then you can tighten down on the handle by turning it clockwise.
If you want to make a 45 in the other direction, it's very simple. There's a lever right here, and you pull up on that. And that allows you to spin it the other direction. And then again, you would just lock it in place. When you're all finished with the Master Puma, there's no disassembling. You just turn this handle counterclockwise, move this arm in, tighten it down, slide your stop the whole way to the center, just spin it into place like so, tighten down, and that's it. And this is a really light tool as well, so it's not like you're gonna be lugging around 50 pounds worth of tool. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments about the Master Puma P3 by Montelit. If you want to purchase this tile cutter or any other Montelit tool, you can do that over on bathroomrepairtutor.com. We have them all over there, and if you've got a question, you can just let us know. We'd be happy to help you. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.